what uh, would you would you see on tape from from Friday's game? It seems like you guys were able to get pretty good pressure when when you kind of blitzed and were able to, to force him into some bad throws there. Uh, yeah, we had we had good effort, and you know there's some stuff we did well. We just have to work on our fundamentals and work on what we're coached to do. You know. You, you wish you would have brought it a, a few more blitzes throughout the game to, to kind of even force him into, into some more bad throws? Or? I don't really analyze, you know, what the calls are. So they call them, we execute them, so I don't really concern myself with that too much. Do you have any general takeaways from that game? Uh, the effort was pretty good. It seemed like everyone's flying around, but uh, just we were missing small details and not, not uh, doing the uh, technique we were coached and stuff, so we need to get back to that. Does it show what, what can happen when you, when you kind of miss an assignment against a good team like that? They're obviously explosive, and one missed tackle can turn into a, to a 50-yard touchdown. Yeah, sure. Anytime you know, you know, you don't tackle, you don't execute your assignment, then who, it doesn't matter who you're playing. But of course, when you're playing a good team like that, it can, it can turn into more. What was it like to, to be on that stage and kind of play in, in the Coliseum and your kind of first time playing this year? And, just to, to be kind of surrounded by, by that, that atmosphere of ESPN, what was that like for you? It's pretty cool, but it's still it's still just football, so it's still just a game. I know you started as a walk-on here. Do you give advice to any of the younger players who are also walk-ons and let them know, like, if you keep working hard, you could end up on the field? Yeah, I mean, I tell people, you know, just, just uh, put your head down and grind, and people notice, you know, it might take a while, but people notice. So. Taylor, what do you suppose you'd be doing right now if, the, if we hadn't ponied up a scholarship for you? Uh, living at my mom's house. <laughs> you know, try, trying to find some work. Nah, not playing football. Do you ever think about that during the season? Or? Yeah, I'm, I'm very blessed to be in the position I'm in. What do, what do you guys see on, on film from Utah? They, they, they've allowed, uh, allowed quite a few sacks in their, their first three games. It looked like, looked like they, they could be a little vulnerable on the offensive line. How do you, how do you think you can attack them? Uh, just like any other team, you know, we just have to do what our what we're taught to do. You know, attack gaps and stay busy in there. Um, they're a good offensive line too. So their, their quarterback is pretty slippery too. He's one mm -hmm. of the more mobile guys you guys have seen so far. Yeah, yeah, he looks like he's a fast kid and pretty good athlete. So that'll be a challenge for us. Yes. What, what have you seen from Lamont McDougal? He's obviously not eligible this year, but, but when he is next year, looks like he, he could be quite the player. I mean, the dude's a powerhouse. He's, you know, short, short, low to the ground. He's has to be the strongest guy on the defensive line. I mean, he, he's a strong, he, he's a powerhouse. <laughs> yeah. How beneficial is it to have a guy like that as a, as a scout team player? He's got to be one of the best scout team guys in the country right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm assuming he's giving those guys over there a really good look, and I'm guessing that's, a, that's really helpful because the old line we have, you know, on scout team, they give us a good look, and that's really helpful for us. Try to mimic the other team as close as possible. That sack celebration of yours, is that an ode to the Bushwhackers, the wrestling team? Yeah, I mean, I, I run a little funny, you know? So they started calling me the Bushwhacker a couple years ago, so I kind of am the Bushwhacker because of them, yeah. You guys good? Thanks, Dad.